The Spearfish torpedo is the heavy torpedo used by the submarines of the Royal Navy. It can be guided by wire or by autonomous active or passive sonar, and provides both anti-submarine warfare and anti-surface warfare capability. Spearfish development began in the 1970s, with production starting in 1988 and deployment in 1992. By 2004, the new weapon had completely replaced the older Tigerfish torpedo. In a typical engagement, Spearfish will run out wire guided to the general vicinity of the target and then conduct a covered passive search. The high capacity guide wire system, specifically designed to match the Spearfish's maneuver and speed envelope, provides two way data exchange between the torpedo and launch submarine, maximizing the submarine's organic sensor and combat control capabilities. Once at close range the Spearfish uses active sonar to classify and home in on its target. High power transmissions and sophisticated signal processing enable Spearfish to accurately discriminate targets from background noise, and ensure high resistance to acoustic countermeasures and or evasive maneuvers. Should Spearfish fail to hit the target on its first attack, it automatically selects an appropriate re-attack mode until it successfully concludes the engagement. Spearfish MOD-1 is probably now one of the best heavyweight torpedoes in service anywhere in the world and represents the culmination of a large effort across UK industry, DE and S and the Navy. It provides the Royal Navy with a lethal ship and submarine killer able to resist modern decoys and countermeasures. The Royal Navy's submarines will continue to be armed with one of the world's most advanced torpedoes after successful trials of the next generation Spearfish weapons system. Sea acceptance testing of the latest version of the Spearfish torpedo was achieved on board a Vanguard-class submarine during three days of trials off the coast of Scotland. It is the first time the next-generation Spearfish has been tested on a Vanguard-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, and means the boats are now able to meet the latest threats when at sea. The trials involved the weapon engaging surface and submerged targets, enabling the boat's crew to operate the new weapon test the ability to fire from the ballistic missile submarine's combat system and ensure command and control over the weapon. It means both the Royal Navy's Estude class and Vanguard class submarines have completed the testing. Spearfish has been the silent service's weapon of choice for nearly 30 years, capable of destroying frigates, destroyers, and large warships, as well as hostile submarines. This modernized and improved variant known as Spearfish MOD-1 features a new warhead, a safer fuel system, a smarter electronic, Brian and a fiber optic guidance link with its parent submarine to improve its accuracy and lethality. The trials underscored the performance with the ability to integrate the new torpedo with the combat system of an operational submarine. Already one of the finest heavyweight torpedoes in the world, the program to further enhance the accuracy and lethality of Spearfish is now complete. After extensive development and trials, the weapon has now been declared operational by the Royal Navy. The Spearfish upgrade project began in 2010 to ensure the primary conventional weapon of the submarine fleet remains at the cutting edge. Given the current paucity of anti-ship weaponry in the surface fleet, the performance of this heavyweight torpedo is especially critical. For the MOD-1 update, virtually every aspect of the weapon has been improved, including the homing system and a new high-bandwidth fiber-optic data link. Spearfish can be wire-guided by commands sent down the data link from the submarine's combat system. The command wire, which can run out to at least 30 kilometers, allows the targets to be changed, depth and range restrictions set, and countermeasures ignored. The submarine's sonar suite is vastly more sensitive and discerning than the lower fidelity sonar of the Spearfish. Should the wire be broken, the torpedo will still continue to search for the target autonomously using the final parameters it was programmed with, and if necessary, its active sonar. MOD-1 makes increased use of modular components for easy maintenance and replacement and the software is intended to easily accept future upgrades. The warhead is being replaced by a much safer insensitive munition manufactured by TDW that is resistant to shock, blast, heat and fire. The dual fuel Otto HAP system that drives the gas turbine engine is being replaced by a single Otto 2 fuel cell to provide safer more reliable propulsion. In 2009 an upgrade program began, leading to further sophisticated advances in Spearfish's homing, warheads, tactical and fueling systems, as well as an upgraded guidance link. 
the upgraded MOD-1 torpedoes will enter service between 2020 and 2024. In February 2021 HMS Talent Test fired three upgraded MOD-1 specification Spearfish torpedoes as part of their final testing before entry into service with the Royal Navy. Whilst Vanguard class trials were carried out in 2024, sea acceptance testing of the latest version of the Spearfish torpedo was achieved on board a Vanguard class submarine during three days of trials off the coast of Scotland. It is the first time the next generation Spearfish has been tested on a Vanguard class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine and means the boats are now able to meet the latest threats when at sea. The Spearfish heavyweight torpedo sets the benchmark for underwater weapon performance. Proven to deliver a decisive advantage against the full range of submarine and surface threats in all operating environments. Spearfish is the UK Royal Navy's frontline anti-submarine and anti-surface torpedo. Modern submarines require sophisticated defensive and offensive underwater weapons to engage a wide range of surface and subsurface targets. Guided torpedoes provide this capability and Spearfish is one of the most powerful and capable on the market. Now in the final phase of a major upgrade program, Spearfish will benefit from significant advances in its homing, warhead and tactical systems. Together with a high bandwidth fiber optic data link between the torpedo and the launching vessel's combat system. It is the most effective targeted weapon in its class addressing the present day and projected threat over the coming decades. Modular hardware implements provide readily replaceable components for maintainability and to enable reduction in through life operating costs for the MOD. The upgraded weapon will be reprogrammable through the skin to incorporate latest developments in sonar technology and to take account of intelligence on the evolving threat characteristics.